Hello everyone and welcome back to QuickSafe TV. I'm here to present you, my name is Mike Pushkin and I'm here to present you the what will become a recurring series of Skyrim tutorials. Today we're gonna focus on the pickpocket skill. Let's just go ahead and start by discussing skill a little bit. What is pickpocketing? Pickpocketing is the ability of your character to stealthy, steal items from other characters, be that NPCs or NPC which are hostile to you. Pickpocketing skill is not really divided with which it starts with light fingers, goes to night thief. We have two uh, two additional skills, extra pockets and poisoned. Then we go ahead to cut purse. Then we have additional one of key master. Then we go to misdirection and perfect touch. So there's not really ma many ways to approach the last skill, perfect touch. The last skill will allow you to pickpocket equipped items. We start with the light fingers, which gives you a pickpocket bonus of 20%. If, if, when, if you invest in it five times, up to five skill points, you will get 100% bonus. Okay, Night Thief gives you a chance, plus 25% chance of pickpocketing you when the target is asleep. Extra Pockets is a skill usable for every character, not only for a thief based characters, which increases carrying capacity by 100. It's a gigantic amount you have to understand that it's third part of what is given if I'm not mistaken, third part of what is given to you in the beginning of the game. This extra pockets can be spent on carrying gems, soulstone, whatever you like. So even if you're a mage, even if you're a warrior, that would be really really useful to have. Cut purse allows you to steal gold easier. Poison allows you to put poisons in the pockets of your enemies to poison them. Key master allows you to, how to, how to say, increases the chance dramatically when you steal keys. Misdirection allows you to steal equipped weaponry. And Perfect Touch allows you to steal equipped anything. Whatever is equipped on the other character, you can steal it. Allows you to steal specifically, specifically hard to, how to get unique, unique items and hard to get items right from the NPCs without killing them. So, pickpocketing is increased by basically pickpocketing. But there's, there can be a lot of confusion with this, so we're just gonna go ahead in the tavern and I'm gonna make my points inside there. Since we discussed the skill, now let's just continue to the tavern. Right now you can see some changes in my loading screen. You can see that I see the percentage of my level. I see the current time of my computer. Uh, these things are, you can find on Skyrim Nexus. It's a mod called, uh, it's a modification to the game called, how's it called, in-game clock, I think. Uh, I, I will talk a lot, a lot about mods later on, but right now there's not too many mods. Yeah. This one I like very much. It allows me to stay in touch yeah. with the real world. Okay, so, now, uh, basic thing with pickpocketing. When you pickpocket, to pickpocket, you have to be hidden, right? You have to hide. <laughs> you, you, can, you can pickpocket when you're in front of a character, behind the character, the side of the character, doesn't matter. It, however, what matters is your status. If you're hidden, the chances to steal the items are much higher than when you're detected. Let's just try to show it in the example of pickpocketing Mikhail. Look how they're huge. Okay, let's just something something difficult. So okay, a ring of minor archery. Right now I'm detected. The chance to steal is only 55 percent. Now let's go behind and try to hide. Oh come on, guys! I have to hide a little bit. I know I can hide. Good. Okay. Look how it dramatically increases, almost by two times. That's a gigantic uh, um, increase. Now, look, the, the point of, s of pickpocketing is not to steal as much as you can. That's not, that's not what it is about. There is a trick to it. Pickpocketing is increasing not according to how many items you steal, but according to how expensive, expensive these items are. So, in order to pickpocket and increase your skill more efficiently, you shouldn't steal things like cooked beef, lockpick, nord mead. You should instead focus on things like silver garnet ring, silver sapphire necklace. Let's attempt to steal the ring. When you steal things like this, the risk is higher. However, the pickpocketing increases faster and faster. So, mm -hmm. if, you, if you're new to pickpocketing, character new to pickpocketing, don't be ashamed of saving the game right before you steal something. It's perfectly fine, it's okay. If you make a mistake, just load the game. You don't have to punish yourself excessively. Focus on stealing items that cost uh, the most. By doing that, you will be able to improve your pickpocketing really quickly. You can see me saving right before I'm pickpocketing other characters. It helps me to control the uh, risks. 
if I don't save, if I get in the tavern and I just, you know, I save here and then I pickpocket three characters and then I pickpocket fourth and he catches me on doing this, instead of risking to lose all these item, items and paying the fine, I'd rather instead save the game before that, right? So that's my suggestion to you. So that would be it about pickpocketing. There is pretty much covered everything. Pickpocketing is not the skill so much important. However, I think for every character, you can see I also took it, uh, extra pockets. Extra pockets is a gigantic bonus for any character, for any archetype, and I think just with three skill points, you get 100 additional carrying capacity. It's just, it's unbelievably good. <laughs> As always, I thank you for joining the channel uh, of Quicksave TV. I thank you for watching my videos. If you enjoyed the video, enjoyed the content, please go ahead, like, subscribe, and share with your friends. It was great having you here. Have a great day, and bye-bye.